sweet bees. It's the sweetest thing in here. Today on the show, we'll be veganizing the corn stick recipe from Paula Dean's Southern Cooking Bible. But I don't have that extra special corn stick cornbread pan that you have to have. You people in the South know what I'm talking about. But um, I'll make corn muffins instead. So here we go. So you're going to start this recipe by preheating your oven to 400 degrees and lining a muffin tin with paper liners. Then you can go ahead and mix together your wet ingredients. We have water, coconut oil, and you can use any oil you prefer but this recipe was tested with coconut oil, and flaxseed. Go ahead and stir your flaxseed in and it's going to sit and become kind of glutinous and a little bit thicker and it's going to act as your egg replacer. Next we're going to prepare our dry ingredients. In a separate bowl you want to whisk together all-purpose flour unbleached, cornmeal, baking powder, raw sugar, and salt. You can use any sweetener you like, but I'm using raw sugar because it replaces one to one with refined sugar and it's just easier to calibrate recipes in that way. But if you use stevia or agave or whatever you choose, just be sure to adjust the wet and dry ingredients accordingly. Now we're ready to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Just whisk it all together just until everything is evenly moistened. This you don't want to over mix. And just like old time's sake, we're going to use an ice cream scooper to evenly distribute our cornbread corn muffin mix throughout the muffin tin. And the ones that you don't have enough to fill up, fill those spots with water for even baking. Bake your muffins for 15 to 18 minutes and you know they're done when you can stick a toothpick in the center of one and it comes out clean. Now they're ready for the taste test. So we're just going to take a piece of our muffin and slather it with a little bit of vegan butter. And it kind of stuck to the papers a bit. So if you use just the muffins and grease the muffin tin, it's a little bit extra oil, but hmm, it won't stick to the papers. I could just fall over. It's really delicious. This corn muffin tastes exactly like you would expect, kind of a sweet, savory cornbread to taste, which I cannot say for all vegan cornbread. Most of it is really dry. All the vegan cornbreads I have have been like dry, 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 dry. But this one is moist and it's kind of cakey, but it's kind of bready and it's sweet, yet it's not overly sweet. It was really like the perfect corn muffin. Like, must I say it myself? It was perfect. But, um,. I do have one side note. Those green beans, I'll put a picture of them here, but the green beans from my thumbnail picture, they are vegan, but my grandmother made them and once you start eating fresh vegetables, I could totally taste that they were canned green beans when I was eating them. So yeah, eat fresh vegetables, they taste better. <laughs> That's it for today, bye. And just like old time's sake, we're going to use an ice cream. Oh, somebody get that. They don't answer the phone. It's not my phone. It's their phone. Okay.